Hello, people. Welcome to today's class. Look at this question before us here. It's a very nice radical equation with cube root. How? It says solve for x. Here we have the cube root of x plus the cube root of x minus 16 equal to the cube root of x minus 8. What is the value of x here? So let's go into today's solving without much waste of time. So here we take our solution. All right. So from here, we're going to do a simple substitution that will enable us to solve this challenge here. So yeah, we're going to say, yeah, let, let, let's take our m, let's use m be equal to the cube root of our x, yeah. And so this implies, if you want to make s the subject of the formula, so we're going to take the cube of both sides. So this is going to give us here yeah, our m to the power of 3 is equal to x. Again, we do the same thing to the next substitution here. So we're going to say, let n be equal to the cube root of our x minus 16. And again, if we cube both sides of the equation, so we're going to have n to the power of 3. This is equal to x, the minus 16. All right. Okay, this is 16, please. Okay, so what is going to be this now? Now, you discover that if we add this and this together, it's going to give us 2x minus 16. And if you factor out 2 from there, that is going to give us x minus 8. So automatically, we're going to have this third one to be m plus n. So we're going to have it to be m plus n will not be this, which is the cube root of our x minus 8. And again, if we take the cube of both sides, we're going to have m plus n all to the power of 3. This is equal to our x minus 8. Easy. So what do we do here now? Now look at what we have here now. We want to cube both sides of the equation. Okay? So if we cube both sides of the equation, we're going to bring our algebraic identity which says that if you have your a plus b r to the power of 3, this will give us here yeah, a to the power of 3, the plus b to the power of 3, the plus our 3ab bracket a plus b. Okay? We all know this, right? Okay, so if we have this at the back of our mind, then what happens? We want to cube this guy here now. So for us to cube this, Okay, um, so we do actually to this. Okay, let's just go straight with this. So, this is going to give us here the cube root. Okay, let's reduce this. So, the cube root of our x there plus the cube root of our x minus 16. Okay, r to the power of 3. This is equal to the cube root of x minus 8, yeah, right, there, yeah, out of the power of 3. This, this will leave the system, okay? So, what do we do now? Now, we cannot open up this guy here yeah, using this algorithm here, yeah, okay? So, all we just have to do here yeah, is to look at our m to the power of 3. What is m to the power of 3? It's just x. So, that is our a here. Yeah. And n to the power of 3 is x minus 16. And that is our b here. So our a times b automatically, this times this. Easy. So let's go ahead and substitute this. So this side of the equation here is going to give us here. So this now implies here we have x, okay, the plus, um, uh, where are we now? The plus b, what is our b? Our b is x minus uh, 16, okay? Then here we have plus 3 plus 3 into, what is our ab? So our ab, let's put these two together here now. So this is going to give us here yeah, the cube root, the cube root of x uh, into our x minus 16, okay, plus 
bracket, then times what we have here now. Bracket is cube root of x minus 8. Close bracket. Okay? All right. Everything, everything equal to our x minus 8. Oh, let me write it very well. Sorry. So minus 8. Good. So now, one of the things that will leave the system, this and this will leave the system, right? Good. So if that leaves the system, then we can open up this expression we have here, then move this term to join this one on this other side here, right? Good. So this is going to give us here 3 into the cube root. Yeah, we said we want to use this to open up everything here. So this is going to give us our x into our x minus 16, close bracket, bracket, x minus 8, close bracket. Okay, so here we have here, x is left here, so we have here minus, sorry, plus x there. Here we have minus 16. If this crosses to this side, okay, so let's just continue this there. Um, plus 8, everything equal to 0. So let's continue on this side and see what this gives us in turn. All right, so we can add this to the, this will give us minus 8, right? Good. So we're going to have this to be, here we have 3 into the cube root, into the cube root of our x into x minus 16 close bracket, then into our x minus 8, close bracket, then plus our x minus 8 equal to 0. Is that still visible? Now, because of this radical here, we want to do away with this radical, so we want to move this term to this side of the equation, so it's going to give us here um, the cube root. In fact, instead of drawing this, let's go straight here. And let's put a square bracket here, bracket x minus 16, close bracket, bracket x minus 8, close bracket, all to the power of 1, all over 3. This is equal to, we're going to have minus x, the plus 8 here. So now, we want to rewrite this by shifting this in and bringing this out. But that will now give us a reasonable something. We want it to be in this format. So all we just need to do is to write in such a way that we are going to have something of this kind in a bracket here. So this will now give us here the square, so our square bracket there, bracket x minus 16, close bracket, into x minus 8, all to the power of 1, all over 3. This is equal to minus bracket, our x, then minus 8. Now, if you use this to open this, we're going to come up with this, okay? So what we do next here, we cannot cube both sides of the equation, okay? So if we cube this, so this is going to be to the power of 3. Okay, then we call it cube this side also. Okay, so to the power of three. All right, so this this will leave the system. Three to the power of three will give us twenty-seven. So we have here twenty-seven. Okay, into here we have our x. Then into our x minus sixteen close bracket into x minus eight close bracket equal to this minus will still come out here. Because we have minus times minus times minus will give us minus. Then if we cube this, this is going to give us our um, x, okay? Um, or should we still keep this first? So let's just keep this here now. So this is going to give us here x, then minus our 8 all to the power of 3. Okay. All right. So with what we have here now, do not forget our square bracket here now. Okay. So we can use this. To open up this, right? To give us 27x. So this is going to give us 27x then into our x minus 16, then into x minus 8, close bracket, this is equal to. Now, we don't want to open this because we are having something similar here. Okay? So we have here minus bracket, our x minus 8, all to the power of 3. Oh, so what do we do here? What do we do here? Okay. Let's move this to this side of the equation. So give us 2 27x there into x minus 16 there into our x minus 8 
then this we turn to plus our x then minus eight r to the power of three this is equal to zero nice equation huh? so we discovered that what we have here is same thing we have here so we can factor out x minus eight here so if we do that this is going to give us here um so we have x minus eight then out there into our 27 x then into our x minus 16 close bracket this will leave the system of course then here we are left with two of this so we have x minus eight out of the power of two um okay let's introduce let's put our square brackets here first okay sorry about this so so our square bracket are equal to zero easy so before we go ahead to open what we have in here we are having this times this here we can succumb to the uh, zero product rule which says that if you have your um a times b equal to zero it means that a is equal to zero or b is equal to zero we all remember this right so if we succumb to this we're going to have our x1 is equal to eight because this is going to give us x minus eight equal to zero so when we make s the subject for the formula automatically this will give us eight this is the value for our x1 this is a very interesting question right okay so let's see how we can factorize this other side to give us um our x2 and x3 because we are having the highest power here to be this so all we just need to do here is to use this to open this and open this also so for our case two so we have our case two this is our case one so case two is going to give us two seven x times this will give us 27 x squared the 27 x times minus 16 that will give us a minus four three two x then we are done with this the plugs if we expand this, this is going to give us x squared minus uh, it has a 16 so we have here 16 x the plus 64 64 equal to zero so this is a quadratic equation so let's see how we solve this quadratic equation which is looking at our case two yeah we can now add this to this so good to give us here 28 so we have 28 x squared the minus 432 x the minus 16 x that will give us um minus 448 so we have here minus minus 448 x then on this side we have plus 16 plus 16 this is 10 sorry 64 please plus 64 equal to zero now this is a quadratic equation and yeah uh, we discovered that four can go through everything here, yeah, right? Yeah, four can divide through. So we divide through by four, divide through by four, divide through by four, divide through by four. So four here will give us seven x to the power of two minus one one uh, two x the plus here we'll have sixteen equal to zero. Now the quadratic equation has been reduced to a level where we can solve it with ease. All right, so here we're going to use the formula method. Remember our formula, we say that our a, okay, so let's say x is equal to minus b plus minus the square root of b squared minus 4 ac all over 2a. Then we look for our a, b, and c. Here our a is equal to the coefficient of x, which is uh, 7, and b is equal to minus 1, 1, 2. And our c is equal to uh, positive 16. So let's put this into our formula and see what this gives us in turn. So we are going to give us here our x is equal to minus here. Where is our b? So bracket minus 1, 1, 2, close bracket plus minus into the square root of minus 1, 1, 2, r to the power of 2 here, then minus. 4 into our a is 7 then our c is 16 close bracket everything all over 2 into 7. oh this is good all right so let's continue on this side of the board again so this this we 
give us plus. So we have here x is equal to positive of 1, 1, 2, plus minus the square root of, yeah, the square of 1, 1, 2, we give us um, 12, 5, 4, 4. So we have 12, 5, 4, 4. I've already calculated this, okay? So then, if we use this to times this, everything, yes, we cover this way. If we use 4 times 7 um, times, uh, that is 28, 28 times 16, that will give us 4, 4, 8. So we have here plus 4, 4, 8. All right. Then everything all over, 2 times 7 will give us 14. Easy. Okay. Oh, sorry. Yes, minus this. Yes, minus. Yes, minus. Uh, where did I see this plus one? Uh, so this is minus. Okay. So we can go ahead to simplify this. So this will now give us here 1, 1, 2 plus minus the square root of, if we subtract this from this, this from this will give us 14. That will give us a, a 6, right? So we have 6. Uh, yeah, we have 4 from um, 13, that will give us 9, then we have this, then this of 4, from 4 we give us 0, so we have 12, zero, 9, all over uh, 14. Okay, now 12,096 can be simplified into 576 times 21, because 576 is a perfect square. So we can rewrite this to give us here 1, 1, 2 plus minus the square root of 576 times 21. Everything all over 14. Okay, what is the square root of 576? That is 24. So this will now end up giving us 1, 1, 2 plus minus 24 okay, into the square root of 21. Everything all over 14. So 14 can go into this without remainder. So let's separate this. Okay. So this is going to give us 1, 1, 2, all over this. Our right? equal to please 14. The plus minus 2, 4 into square root of 21, all over 14. So this year 1, this year will give us 8. This will give us 7, 2 year. The 2 year will give us 12. So we end up having our 8 plus minus um, 12 into 21 to the square root of 21 all over 7. So we cannot conclude, uh, bring that our x2. So we have our x2 will now be equal to 8, 8 plus our 12 into the square root of 21. Okay, then all over 7 and our x3 is equal to our 8 minus 12 into the square root of 21 all over 7. Okay, all right, so this is our answer. We've solved our x1 already. Remember our x1? Our x1 is 8. So these are the roots to the wonderful math challenge we have here. Okay, so this brings us to the end of this video tutorial. I know it's a bit tough, but at least we got the answer. And so if you learned something from this video tutorial, give the video a thumbs up. And if you've not subscribed, do not forget to subscribe. Okay? Subscribing will help the platform to grow okay and again remember this is jigs animo and i love you all of us at online mass tv we love you so much those guys behind the camera they love you so much they send their greetings i should greet you okay so thanks for being there and you keep winning until we meet you in our next class bye for the now